More precious pieces of indigenous history have finally been returned. Artifacts belonging to Chief Poundmaker were given back to his family today, 137 years after the Cree leader's death. CTV has done a sound on the emotional repatriation. In a place known for silence, the Royal Ontario Museum came alive today with song and dance. The celebration to honour Chief Poundmaker. At this repatriation ceremony, the chief's pipe and saddle are being given back to their rightful owners. Pauline Poundmaker is his great-great-granddaughter. It's an incredible spiritual journey and sometimes it's a little, you feel overwhelmed. Chief Poundmaker is best known for his efforts to unite the tribes in the late 1800s. It's such a huge honor we've been given to be able to be the one, the generation that can bring back his artifacts. This saddle has been in the hands of the Rom for 99 years and now being returned to right a wrong. Chief Poundmaker spent time in prison for treason. Two years ago, the government of Canada, Justin Trudeau, pardoned Chief Poundmaker and apologized on behalf of Canada for his wrongful imprisonment. The chief lived a tough and short life when the government of the day called all the buffalo in an effort to starve him and his people out. Cree people are still here, his descendants donning tattoos of Poundmaker out of respect. Chief Poundmaker died at the age of 44 in Blackfoot Territory. In 1967, his people brought his remains back home to his reserve, the Poundmaker Cree Nation in Saskatchewan. Last year, the ROM repatriated a peace pipe used in the 1836 Manitoulin Treaty to its rightful owners, the Ojibwe and Odawa, closing one historic chapter to open a new future. Donna Sound, CTV News. Toronto.